Okay, here's a tutorial using Adobe Photoshop. I'm using version CS6. Tutorial on how to make images darker. So, for example, I scanned a few papers and the result is not too black, it is pretty gray. Okay, to make them darker automatically, not one by one, we should use, let's say, Photoshop. So, let's go to File and Open and open, let's say, the first image. You can open any of them, it doesn't matter which one. Open. Okay, now let's go to Window and Actions. To open the Actions window and record our commands. So let's click on this new Create New Action button. Okay, and as title, let's call it Levels levels because the levels tool will be used to make the image itself darker and click on record now the actions will be recorded here's the red record button so let's go to image adjustments and levels image adjustments and levels and let's drag this left triangle to somewhere let's say there you can check this preview button and uncheck it to see the results before and after. Okay, let's close this one. And let's also save the image. File and save as. And I don't want to mix up the images here, so I'm going to create a new folder. New folder. Let's enter into that new folder and choose the format that you want to use. PNG is lossless, that's fine. So let's just click on save. Yes, use those settings. And it recorded both the levels and the save function also. Now let's stop the recording of these actions. Okay, and then close the file itself. Don't save anything here. So I didn't record it the opening or the closing, I recorded only the levels and the sa saving. Okay, now let's uh, apply these two actions to all of those images. To do that, let's go to File, Automate and Batch. File, Automate and Batch. And here we have Source and Destination. Set Source to Folder and choose the source folder source folder is this one in my case click OK then here at destination also select folder and choose that new folder OK and close it with OK now check this override action thing check it and otherwise if you don't check it it will overwrite all the images onto one single image and then just close it with OK and now the images are being processed and saved and so on you can take a look here in this new folder what's happening and as you can see all of them are being processed and these are darker than the ones which are outside here okay let's wait until all of these images 20 images are being processed by Photoshop the levels is applied and then it's being saved automatically so we don't have to do anything here and after that we can compare the before and the after images so to see exactly what we just did here in Photoshop okay the order is not exactly perfect first it began with one and then it continued with the two three and four okay so let's copy let's say that image copy and paste it outside here and don't overwrite it paste compare info for both files keep both of them and continue okay so here we have the 12 and 12 2 
there it is, it's here. Okay, so let's open one of them. I'm using Fast Tune Image Viewer. I just pressed Enter, and here I can select 12, that one, then this one, and press P to compare them. Okay, so that's the new one which was processed by Photoshop, and that's the old one. And you can see even the difference before and after. So it is much darker, you can see everything better. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching, and let's delete this one. And bye bye. Here are the darker images.